Well, fans, the following matchup is for the undisputed British Tag Team Championship. It is set for one fall. Introducing first. I've been looking forward to this one. You can hear the thrillers music again. Well, not yet you won't. Not yet you won't, because first we're going to see the team who, for my money, are still the best in this country. For your money, how much is that? About 10p? Making their way to the ring, they are the team of Shaw Samuels and the All England champion Terry Frazier. They are the Cartel! You know, it's five months, five long months since the Cartel lost those treasured British Tag Team Championships to and the it Thrillers. it took them five months to conjure up the guts to cash in their rematch clause, to invoke size their rematch clause right here tonight. It took them five months to come up with the guts. And you know why? Because the Thrillers have been defending their titles left, right and centre. They've been on a gruelling world tour. And now, well, British tour, unfortunately. But still, I'm sure if they wanted to go on a world tour, they could, they could be booked all around the world because they are that talented. But the point is, anyway, if we can get back to the point, is that they've been working day in, day out, defending those tag team titles, and now they just swan in and think they can invoke a size, their rematch clause. What a bunch of cowards. Oh my God, I've heard Hamlet deliver soliloquies shorter than that. You need to take a breath, take some water. And their opponents. Where's my drink, though? Did you drink my drink? I wouldn't touch anything that you've touched. You're damn right. Making their way to the ring. The physical specimen, Joel Redman. The fitness, Ricky Height. They are the undisputed British Tag Team Champions. They are the nice. Thrillers. Thank you. Well, the Thrillers, as is well documented, have somehow been allowed to split those two tag title belts between four different men for the duration of their reign. And tonight, Terry Frazier, Shah Samuels, the cartel have their very last opportunity to try and win those belts back. Well, you're lucky that you get to see four men defending the tag team titles. Four men of this talent. Guy hate Ricky Hyde. What an idiot. Just posing in front of us there. You hate Ricky Hyde because he slapped the taste out of your mouth earlier on tonight. Among you're other lucky reasons. I saved, you're lucky I stopped him earlier, though. Because hey. if it wasn't for me, the Thrillers were just about ready to kick the hell out of you. They'd had enough of you, though. Yeah, you're a real hero, right? I'm a hero to you. I'm a hero to many. Such a tough guy. The hero of Big Brother. It's a lot of people call me that. I, I don't really like it because I'm modest. Uh-huh, sure. Oh, look over there, Oblivion. Ah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't worry. How is your neck since he choked to MD last week? Do you mean Exodus? Whatever, Exodus. Whatever. Oblivion won't lay a damn hand on me. <laughs> but Exodus, I, I think you'll notice that Exodus hasn't been seen since that incident. Well, trust me, yeah. Uh, I pulled some strings. I got that man suspended without pay. I'm not sure he's ever been paid. He just kind of shows up, does Exodus. Well, he won't be showing up anyway. I've got, a, I've got Nick Oblivion watching my back, yeah, and Exodus knows it. Yeah, I guess that's fine. When he got backstage, Nick Oblivion and Yeskin Reeves and a few of our other friends, they just, they, they just beat the hell out of Exodus. That's quite a Some of my friends are the thrillers, in fact. That was quite a mistake by me to say Oblivion, because uh, I guess you and Nick Aldis are tight, right? Yeah. Best buddies. You betcha, Dave. And I'm also not surprised you remember the name Exodus. I think it'll be imprinted on your memory for some time to come. Yeah. I'm a man, Dave. I, I, I showed back up the very next day and continued work. I like Alex Shane, who's not going to be back for a long time after what happened to him earlier. And that was nothing compared to what happened to me. 
nothing. Alex Shane took three sh hard shots to the ribs from a steel spanner, courtesy of Yeston Reese, the IPW champion. Shah Samuels have never had those belts back again. You know, they may well do. They may yet win those title belts back. But here's a question for you. Terry Frazier, we've already seen him in action once tonight, and he hurt his knee against Mark Haskins. Will Frazier's knee hold out well enough for the cartel to regain those tag team titles? What you've got here is a man and a half man against two of the biggest athletes, two of the most dominating athletes in the IPW and two members of the Thrillers. What chance have the cartel really got? Oh, oh there we go. The bell has rung and Joel Redman jumps Shah Samuels from behind. Samuels, double clothesline. Scoops up, high. Down he goes. This crowd are firmly behind. They're firmly behind the cartel and can you blame them? Can you blame them? Two great East Londoners. The I hearts. hate East London. They have the hearts of champions to the cartel. And they are well on their way to becoming international superstars, Billy. Terry Frazier and Charles Samuels were the star attraction last week at the Brit Awards after show party. Are you kidding me? They've I appeared on. And you were there outside trying to scalp a ticket off someone. They've been on Richard and Judy recently. Terry appeared in The Bill. They've got, been on all the kind of media outlets that, you know, they're, in fact, they're everything you wish you were. I don't wish I was anything like the cartel. I'm not the one that's going to be lying on my backside in a minute, having lost another match, having lost twice for the second time tonight, like this idiot out here, Terry Fraser, the most dislikable character I've ever met in my life. Fraser, I think, was holding that knee slightly and just seeing if he's showing any ill effects he does appear to be limping a little and it, it may be no coincidence that it's Shah Samuels who is starting this match now a storied history exists between the thrillers and the cartel first clashing back last spring down in Bromley where the cartel were able to unify the old IPW and RQW tag titles at the expense of these two men. And it's not going to matter, Dave. It's not going to matter. Nothing matters but the fact it's that the cartel are a bunch of cowards the waiting until tonight to cash in that title shot. And look what ended up happening. Terry Fraser, in an, in an all-out irony, got injured himself. And it evens up the fact now that they've been defending their titles night in, night out, whilst the cartel have been sitting there, relaxing, waiting to invocalize their rematch clause. And tonight, it's, not, it's all gone wrong for them. Well, speaking of cowards, where's Gilligan Gordon tonight? I haven't seen him out with Haskins, I haven't seen him out with Reese or these two. Gilligan Gordon doesn't need to be here tonight because whatever happens by the end of the night, he's going to have a thriller versus thriller main event in this building next month. Something worth showing up for, but he doesn't need to be here all the time. His boys have firmly got everything under control. In fact, I stepped in for Gilligan Gordon earlier on. Anything he needed to do, I touched it up as the leader of the A-list and as, as an earpiece for the thrillers. I had a word with these guys and you know what? Two, three minutes, Dave, I was done. The Thrillers are completely in control of everything here tonight. At the moment, it's Redman, and he is in control of Terry Fraser as he scoops him up and down. I noticed the former trainer, Mark Sloan, was wandering around backstage, and the Thrillers had very little interest in what he has to say nowadays. Well, they'd do wise to listen, not just to him, his knowledge, but to his attitude towards the fans. Can we keep these kids quiet? No, we can't. And I'm pleased we can't. They're giving up the cartel some great support here. It's not really fair though, is it, Dave? Without Gilligan Gordon out here, and then you've got these kids behind the cartel. It's, why don't why don't we get get why don't do you mind if I just leave? You, no, I don't just, mind. You go. If I go down the ringside and stand by my guys. Honestly, really, I don't need to say it. You if you want to leave, you go at any time. I'm perfectly happy for you to leave the announce table. But anyway. That was Samuel just uh, taking down Ricky Hype, and now Samuel's 
Charles Samuels could have a chance to get over to, to Frazier and make the tag. What difference would it make? Charles Samuels is injured and Terry Fraser is a one-legged man who was jogged I, out early. Hang on a second. Samuels is Samuels was saying no, he'll take it. Obviously, Frazier's knee is injured and Frazier said no. There he, we go. Frazier tagged himself in and oh my he's, he's paying the price. Look at this. Hype has seen it. Hype has seen that that knee is hurt. Another mistake by Terry Fraser. Who the hell does Terry Fraser think he is? He thinks he's some kind of all-out superstar, the face of IPW, the face of the cartel. I'm going to go and do it all by myself because I flukily won the All England Championship. Who the hell does he think he is? If I was Charles Samuels right now, I'd take a walk. I'd leave him there. Well, Frazier, always been an ambitious young man and really wants to rise to the top of British wrestling. And, well, you know, you may be right on this occasion. He may have bitten off more than he can chew tonight trying to i may be right on this occasion dave yeah it's the first time for everything i'm always right about everything make no mistake about that what's my prediction ratio tonight I, you know what i couldn't care couldn't care less dave i will have you fired now you said that before it didn't quite work out did it I'm not sure you've got quite the uh, the sway backstage that you think I you have. I can have Andy Quinlan in your seat in five minutes. Quilden. Try, try getting his name right if you're going to try and kiss up to him. Quilden? Yes. What's a Quilden? Quilden. What's a Quilden? It's his name. Right. Well, I can have him here anyway. The way Hype and Frazier continue to battle in the ring. you got... They made me call Dan Sefton. You got Samuels and uh, Joel Redman on the outside. Samuels celebrating his birthday yesterday and Redman celebrating his the week before. I guarantee you they didn't share a birthday party. Oh, and I bet you this birthday party wasn't anything compared to Redman's because I was there partying up with the thrillers. And so were you, though, but not in the VIP, I recall. I'd like to point out I wasn't there because the thrillers were there. It was a, an unfortunate coincidence that I was in the same building. Ruined my Saturday night. But you're there we lucky are. to be in the same building as the Thrillers, and you're lucky to be in the same building as me. I'm spending my second consecutive Saturday night in with the same Billy building Lightning. with you and the Thrillers. It's it's a it's a dream come true for you, Dave. My life has sunk to a new low. So don't ruin it for yourself and have Andy Quilton come out here and replace you. Don't make me call Dave Seth. Hang on a second. Hang on. Frazier with the cover and only two. Because I'll have this. I'll have Dave Sefton on the phone in, in in minutes. His name's not Dave. You might want to learn his name. Who's not Dave? Dave Sefton. You know Tony Sefton. Tony Sefton. There you go. Somebody just talk. Why did you tell me to run? Just get. You know, Give me a diet coke. Billy, a oh, small piece of advice. As Shaw Samuels. Shaw Samuels is back on the offensive. You know, get your boss's names right. It's a, in any walk of life. I don't have a boss. It's I don't have a. I'm not like the normal normal man. I'm not. I don't have a boss. I don't answer to anybody. Hang on, Samuels. He's got the underhook and takes down hype. Samuels with the cover. Oh no! Redmond makes the save. Redmond makes the save in the nick of time. We would have had new champions right there. Samuels to the corner. Well, has managed to once again regain the advantage. Ricky Hype bangs it in. And just for good measure, and more on Terry Fraser takes one on the outside. Good drop kick. You know, Samuels is in trouble. But, Atomic drop. But Billy, you know, you see the drop kick, you notice as there's a cover here, cover by Redmond, and Samuels kicks out. You notice that Terry Fraser however, wants no part of this match. Well, I think Terry Fraser wants in, but Samuels isn't, isn't trying for the tag. I think Samuels thinks he has to do this match on his own. It's always been that way. Any thrillers match, any sorry, any cartel match that I've ever watched, it was Charles Samuels carrying the team. Whilst the fresh Terry Fraser was concentrated on his own career and selfishly trying to win the All England Championship, while Charles Samuels was carrying the tag team. I mean, you, you do have to wonder as oh Samuels, hang on a second, T-bone, T-bone suplex, and oh, he didn't even, he didn't even go for the cover. Samuels isn't done yet. Samuels to the ropes and drops the elbow. This time he goes for the cover. New champions, perhaps. No. 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 Two. 
I was going to say, you do have to wonder if, Char, if there is a, a small part of Shah Samuels who is a little bit annoyed at Terry Frazier for entering that singles match earlier on. As he did it again. Fra Frazier's tagged himself in again. He tagged himself in again. The selfish, selfish man. The egotistical Terry That's Frazier. It's not, not selfishness. He's trying to help out his he buddy. He wants to be the hero. Char again. Shah Samuels and Terry Frazier are best friends. Spear by Frazier. Frazier is bad knee and all. He's, only, he's barely on one leg and he's still... Still fighting. Oh, his, his leg buckled. I think it buckled. And and there we go. And Frazier. Frazier with the half crab. In the, in the half crab. He's going to tap out again. Courtesy of... He's going to tap out again. Of Redmond. Oh, no. Come on, Terry. Terry. Tap, Terry. He's inches from tap. the ropes. Yes. Tap. Oh, no. He's dragged back. Dragged back into the middle. I thought he had the ropes. I thought he had the ropes. Terry Frazier. And we are witnessing the end of Terry Fraser here. As Shah Samuels is on the outside. Fraser trying to get there. He's trying with all his miles. Fraser tapped. Fraser tapped again. No way. The winners of the match and still the undisputed British Tag Team Champions, the Thrillers. He is tapped out. Not once but twice on the same night. What a pathetic little coward is Terry Fraser. He came out here and he tapped out to Mark Haskins of the Thrillers. And then he came out here and he tapped out to the Thrillers again. And this is your hero. This is your favorite wrestler day. This is your all England champion lying on his back like a yellow bellied coward quitting. You know Piece what? of monkey crap for the second you know, time. You know what? I've had enough of this. I've had enough of this. Frazier is one of the gutsiest, gutsiest competitors in wrestling. I mean, admittedly, he his, tapped out. His heart has ruled his head here. Twice. He's obviously shouldn't have competed in both the singles and the tag. But how can you? How can you call him a coward? Well, Shah Samuels and Terry Frazier. Samuels isn't happy here after Frazier. You know, we talked about well, this Terry before. Terry Fraser makes history again here tonight. He's the first man to tap out twice in the same night. That's history there. You're right, David. He's a, he's a great history maker. Well, it's history in the sense that... History in the sense that that will never happen again. That's the only time you'll ever see that in Terry Fraser's career, I promise you. Well, Samuels, a little bit frustrated, I think, at the fact that Fraser entered this match with a knee injury, and it was eventually that injury that cost the cartel the match, but it's going to take more than that to cause Shah Samuels and Terry Frazier to have a fight. They are... Shah as, Samuels is certainly being the bigger man here. Well, they are as close as any two men in wrestling, I tell you that. Shah's frustrated because he had the match in hand. Well, as much as you can have it in hand against the Thrillers, who can turn it around in one second, just like that. But still, Shah was in control until Terry Frazier's tried to take the glory away from Shah Samuels again and he cost the he cost the cartel the tag team title